This is the arena, a place for some of the best Fortnite players in the world to duke it out. And I, Luke the Notable, endured the intensity of arena for 100 games. So grab your baller and hide behind the nearest tree, because I dropped the arena 100 times. And this is what happened. This is it, game one. I wanted to keep the intro short because I wanted to do a lot of explaining with actual gameplay here. This is not normal Fortnite. This is the arena, completely different. But to sum it all up, it's essentially just way harder Fortnite because everything matters. Notice how there's a one next to my shields and health after I got that kill. In the arena, you get points for basically playing Fortnite well, getting kills, placing higher, that sort of thing. So here I was hanging out, defaulting around and got to top 25, so I got an extra three points. The big catch with the arena is that you play people around your point total. So here, with with six points, the competition wasn't that steep. That's okay though, because I'm a level zero. This is my first game. I have no points. It should be this easy. Tell you the truth, game one looks like pretty much every other game of Fortnite that I've played. Four people left in this final circle. And as the circle started to close, it got pretty hectic and I added to my point total. But now it's a one versus one. Let's get it. Gathered the soul of that guy I killed and found that the other guy was in a sky base. I know I didn't look at him. I could just hear him up there. Turtle Beach! But I realized I had little materials too late and I died for second place. Still got a ton of points though. Dang. I'm also a part of the open league, which is when you first start out in the arena. If you're in the open league, there's no way to lose points between games. So even if I drop in and nothing happens, I stay at 11 points. So I dropped into Salty Springs looking for some easy kills. And I got a few easy kills. Remember, this is still pretty low point gameplay here. Oh, I also had a rocket launcher, which can help when you need to kill people. Huh. But remember, we're in Salty Springs. So while looting, I was shot with a grenade launcher. From there, I was chased incessantly until eventually a trap got me. Still in the open league though, and it lasts for a while. You need 125 points to get out of the open league. So in game three, I decided to have some fun in Paradise Palms. Like a bad sequel, in game three, I was also shot while looting. Got away this time though, but not for long. It's fine though, remember, open division. You may have seen my video on Fortnite's Gauntlet Tournament. One of the things about that tournament is you'd start every game with minus two points, and that's gone in the arena, at least for the open division. It was still competitive Fortnite in the open division, but people weren't under as much pressure because when you die, you don't lose points. These early games were some of the most fun I've ever had playing Fortnite. Just good, clean, sweaty Fortnite fun without really any consequences. I got a lot of points this game just by keeping to myself. I was looking for top five. If I could grab it, I'd get an extra three points, but I got sniped. But it's totally fine. Remember, we're in the open league. Live, die, doesn't matter. Looking back, it's a nice transition into the super sweaty stuff you'll see later on in the arena. Even in the open league, you're gonna play high level players, but if you die, it doesn't matter. So even after a John Wick boogie bombs you and deletes your entire health bar, you're not really that mad. So later on in the match, when I was sniped for second place, I wasn't mad at all! I'm showing a lot of gameplay of me killing guys, but what's cool in the arena is you can get points just from placement too. I'm fairly certain you could cruise through the entire open league without getting a single kill. Cause even if you make top 25 and miss every single one of your shots and get embarrassed by this guy with numbers in his name, hey, you know, you don't lose points. Oh, and what's real nice is like game seven, I was dropping in and my food got delivered. So I quit out with zero consequences. I played another game seven, made it pretty far in a box while eating. These ain't even near what you're gonna see in the final circle later on. I, I laugh at this, this is newbie stuff. Hey, ended up running out of mats, used my minigun to almost kill this fish and still died. Open league, who cares? Though I have not yet won a game. So in game eight, I whipped out the baller. From a utility standpoint, the baller is probably one of the best vehicles in all of Fortnite. No fall damage, you don't take shots if anyone shoots at you, a pretty good amount of health. I mean, look at this, I can swing through trees. And while the baller isn't needed to place higher and win in Fortnite, it does help a lot. Little old controller player like me needs every advantage against these PC sweats. Yep, this is probably the best strategy in all of Fortnite. Still a pretty normal final circle, looks like any other game, except I'm in a baller sky base. Using the baller, I was able to conserve tons of materials, so I was able to hop out into this final circle with over a thousand. From there, I used my minigun magic to confuse scare and ultimately destroy the other players in the match for my first ever arena win. As you can tell, I was quite happy. Game nine, I died without a lot of kills, but I got a lot of points just for living. Socialism! Game 10 dropped a hot bus into Paradise Palms and made sure this default would never get out of the open division. But then his little cousin Jonesy showed me what was what. Game 11 did not end well. This Clover player got in and killed me. But since I got the trap off, he took a little bit of damage and then died in the storm. And I got fifth place, so still pretty good points. Most of the time you lose a game of Fortnite, you walk away with nothing. But in the arena, it's kind of nice if you just get top 25, you walk away with at least three points. Sure, not as glorious, but it feels good. Don't even care that I died to a default skin. In any level of the arena, you gotta have nice spots to hide. I like coming here, the private 
island. Seclusion, tons of trees, and a nice little shack of shame with a rift in the bottom. Inherited fourth place with zero kills, then shot this guy in the back. Downed will one versus one in the final circle, and I'm out of materials! I mean, you know. What'd you think was gonna happen? Still in the open league, cruising up the divisions pretty quickly. We'll be out of this pretty soon. Well, not if I die like this every time. I used the same strategy in game 15 and died again. Game 16, I dropped Fatal with all the other noobs. I could smell a guy hiding in the cornfield. I dropped Fatal a hundred times and you have no idea how much this happens. I think at this point I could get top 25, even top 15 pretty easily, but top five was pretty contested and hard to get for me at this time. I was getting very close to the contender league and players were definitely contending. This one here was even able to resist my minigun might. I know I should be playing it safe, but I dropped Paradise Hot again. I can't help it. No, I, I definitely deserve to be dead here, for sure. Game 18 is already over. Okay. No kills in game 19, but I almost got top 5. Then I had quite a pleasant game in game 20. Hello, good sir. Don't mind me. You can see the absolute craziness of the final final circles really starting to take form here. Now, remember, this is only with 6 people. We're all gunning for top 5. After top 5 gets awarded, the only other way to get points is by killing or winning. Most people choose killing. But I played pretty safe in game 21. I needed 125 points to get to the contender league, and as you can see, I'm at 126. But then this guy found me, and he was obviously way better. Hooray! I contended! Big difference here in the contender league, at the start of every game you're gonna lose one point. Points are earned exactly the same way, you just start negative one. Rolled around in game 22, made it pretty simple. Oh hey, this clip is from the intro. I lost the baller. After that there wasn't much hope. Also if you haven't noticed, I've been dropping into the jungle quite a bit in this video. The jungle is the newest biome in Fortnite. There's tons of materials, loot, everything if you know where to look. And the massive trees were great for arena, not only because you got a lot of materials from them, but the canopy just hid you from tons of players trying to drop in. There's also tons of ways to easily leave the jungle, like geysers and ballers, so I was able to cruise into top 25 in this one pretty easily. Even got a kill on a guy injured and scared. I used a balloon to get down the structure. I'm a humble man, but maybe I should have got some of them fancy gliders. Game 24, I came in 21st place again. It was pretty bad, but in the contender league, coming in top 25 is really all you have to do. You actually profit two points. Or, you know, you could kill one guy, which is what I did in this game. Dusty Divot. Then someone killed me! We will all be dusty in the end. This is pretty much all that happened in game 26. Yeah, I'm getting pretty good at the baller. Didn't have to hop out until it was a one versus one. The counter says three, but that's how fresh it is. I had 1,500 mats, no gliders, and one chance, but I still lost. Got a lot of points though. Yep, we back at it. In the arena, I found saving yourself for the end circle is where you're gonna get the most kills. That's where players are gonna get third party. They're gonna be low already. You can spray into a box like this and maybe get lucky. There's a definite strategy to playing conservative at the start of the game and then hyper aggressive at the end. Especially if you've already got placement points, don't be afraid to go for kills. They're probably as low as you are. But this time, the soccer skin wasn't. Game 28 handled one player in sunny steps to get my bus fare back. I think I played a little better once I got my bus fare back. I wasn't afraid to lose everything. I could play a little bit riskier, which sometimes can help, but it didn't help this time. Of course, if you really want points in the arena, it's best to baller up. See? Didn't that look easy? I could've and should've stayed in the baller here, but I smelled this default around the corner. I was 90% sure I trapped him in here, but he was able to get out. And once I got out, he trapped me in. I don't think he was a real default. Okay, I'm done with getting pooped on. I'm on PC. Sorry, it looks terrible. The arena's cross-platform, so playing on Xbox, I was already at a disadvantage. My biggest disadvantage was my frame rate. It was locked at 60 on Xbox, but on PC, I can get up to 240. I'm still playing on controller. I'm just way better at 240 frames per second. Everything about Fortnite's easier in 240 frames. Even the arena. I got top five and even two kills here. So when I died, I got a lot of points. Pretty good game. Same thing in game 31. Made it to the end with my ancient box technique. Then I got killed by a guy with really good internet. Still in the contender league, moving up the divisions, and we'll be in this one for a while. You need 300 points to make it to the champion league. And slowly but surely, I was getting there. One ninth place game at a time. I don't know how many more times I have to show the baller before you can just assume I made it to the end with the baller. This one was gonna end on top of the volcano. It was gonna be a little tricky. I maintained high ground and kept myself in the literal perfect position for this circle. Three left, one in the sky, had to handle my gas grenades and couldn't, and then the other one was low on health. I had 200 health, so even though he was a good shot, I still lived. I could tell by the way he absolutely panicked that he must have been on supremely low health. And 
and I won! Don't worry guys, I remember to hit the default dance. Though that win led to some overconfidence which caught up to me in game 34. Stuck to my spherical roots in game 35. High ground's really important in the final circle as it's basically the best strategy against anyone in a box. And because everyone's in boxes, it's the best strategy. It also allows you to drop in at the perfect moment and miss your game ending no scope. It's fine, I got the shotgun and then sprayed him down with my rifle until he died, but it would have been nice to end that with the no scope. Wasn't recording in game 36, so we'll just skip to 37. What did you expect? I ballered. Made it to a one versus one with a minigun. This is my element. We were both low health, whittling each other down as the storm overtook us. And I didn't win, but he didn't have to take the L on me. I started off game 38 with a very nice snipe, then made it to top 25 and got killed by someone better. Then in game 39, I probably should have lived way longer, but I missed all my shots, then died. Forgot to record this one, so just have the end screen. I played okay, fourth place. Two kills too. The final circle was getting increasingly packed. By game 41, 14 people were in it. But I had fancy gliders and high ground, so I had a good chance of winning. Just kidding, I'm trash. Even the baller strategy was getting a little bit more difficult in these later games. Yeah, game 42 is where I found out the baller can't save you every time. Also, forgot to mention, I am in division six. That is one away from the top division champion. So now I'm losing two points at the start of every game. Yeah, two points. Though luckily in this one, at the start of the game, I got two easy kills. Ballered my way to the end game, and instead of fighting over top five, we were fighting over top 25. That's the big difference with High Point Arena. I made it. Not much further though. Same thing in game 44. That circle's getting real small, still over 25 people left. Found a guy in a box healing, so I harassed him until he came out. Shot him with my shotgun and secured top 25 and an extra point. At this point, my sights were on anyone running out in the open. Remember, you can get some free easy points in these final circles when the storm starts to move. But you remember how I said you want to keep the high ground? That's why! Game 45 started okay. I got half my points back. And that was all the points I'd be getting that game. Game 46, I got top 25 in the storm. And that was it. It's easy to see that the arena was getting harder, but I could still compete. Got pretty lucky in this game. Killed two guys with almost nothing to get my points back. But with just two kills, I'm still netting zero points for the whole game. And because I got killed, my profit was nothing. But in the arena, I'd say nothing's better than negative two. This is where the arena lost a little bit of its fun for me. Every game was just more and more depressing. Depressing isn't the right word, but it was hard. Everyone felt better than me, and that's frustrating. Especially if you gotta play a hundred games. Here's game 50. Sorry, I normally wear a sock skin. That's okay, we'll get over this one quickly. Found a guy in the Fatal Fields bar and he coned me in from here. You could pretty much tell how it was gonna go. Dropped enough of my points to make it to the end in game 51. With a baller, of course. I already secured top 15, so here I was just going for kills. Maybe get an extra point or two. But you all know that it's easiest to get kills when you have the high ground. Wasn't recording for game 52. Lost my points. Game 53 started great. I got a rocket launcher out of a vending machine, then blew myself up with it. I was headed for top 15 in game 54. Then I got sniped. Uh, it happens more than you'd think. Like I said earlier, this level of arena, it's harder. There's less points on the table. Here, we're barely fighting over top 25 with this tiny, tiny circle. It's so dangerous. It's great practice though. I don't play too well in these final circles just because I haven't been exposed to them that often, but I'm getting better for sure. Game 56, there were 31 people left. I had no kills and I saw someone leave the private island. So I tried to get there with my baller, but my rope failed and I dropped into the ocean. Game 57, shot at this baller and what popped out almost killed me, but didn't. I'm getting better, especially at boxing. You have to if you're playing in the arena. But as a controller player, I feel so disadvantaged playing in the arena because I'm going up against PC players. They're just so much faster. Wasn't recording game 58, but you can see they are faster. So in game 59, I dropped in as a default to remind myself not to fight too many guys. Everyone's just better than me, I guess. And I did it. I stuck to my box and stayed in the game a lot longer than I have been lately. I said earlier you want to wait till the end game to go for kills, and I stand by that. Look, I got a really lucky one right here. How However, while running towards safety, I was attacked from behind. But luckily, we both died. Still need 300 points for champion, and while the arena was definitely getting harder, I was definitely still determined to get there. Though in this game, despite my best efforts, I died in the storm. Sort of. Kinda died by a fall. Whatever. Broke even. Yeah, lost two points in game 61 and 62. Fallin' and sniping in game 63. Made it to the end of this one by drinking eight gallons of Mountain Dew. No gliders, but I got this nice little balloon. Somehow, a player was able to shoot up my structure and balloon at the same time. I tried to get it back out, but couldn't. Game 64 is pretty short. Didn't get the gun. You defaults out there know what happens next. Maybe I'll be able to protect myself with a lava moat. And a baller, of course. Nope, I didn't even make it to top 25. And the guy that killed me had
had 12 kills. Game 66, I had a baller and a llama. Still died without points. That's okay, came back in game 67 and was successfully able to hold down the private island with a baller. I hadn't come in top five in a while. This was gonna be my chance. But unfortunately, I'm not playing on hyper stress res, so it's hard for me to see in these final circles. I was still playing okay though, making it to the end with my boxing. Also, my use of this tree. I wish I knew what to tell you in these final circles, but I, I just don't know what to do. Most of the time, I just flail my arms, sometimes go for kills, but almost always die. It's game 69, but I'm a mature adult. I kept 68 on my skin. Yeah, I just forgot to change it. Who cares? I harnessed the unstoppable force of the minigun to take top 25 with three kills. And like a lot of the other games, I was shooting at ballers and got shot from the high ground. Game 70 is labeled appropriately. One of the most important things in this game is being able to smell out the weak and vulnerable, then kill them. Sometimes you gotta be honest with yourself though. Here, I'm 12 people left. I've already got five kills. I'm not gonna get top five. Might as well just go for one more easy kill, even if it kills me. You just never know in the madness of these final circles. One minute you're shooting a baller, next minute you're dead. I got a ton of points in game 70, so in game 71, I went straight to losing them. In game 72, I wore 70 on my skin again. I don't know why. As much as I gripe about the arena, you gotta remember that it does make you a better Fortnite player. You just gotta keep grinding at it, and eventually, you'll get there. You gotta remember, I said at the beginning of the video that this is not normal Fortnite. It is way harder. I had amazing loot in this one, and probably should have lived a long time, but when my structure came crashing down, so did I. In order to make sure I don't mess up the number on the back anymore, I'm just gonna put zero on it. I like playing with the side soccer skin. Makes me better for some weird reason. However, the soccer skin's powers didn't come to me in game 73. In game 74, I'm gonna show you what not to do in the final circle. I say final circle, this isn't even really that final, it's just the arena. Anyway, pretty simple situation here. If you've been in arena, 25 plus people left and that storm is moving. I ended up getting top 25 in this clip, so it's a little bit victorious, but I could have gotten way more points in this game, and I'll show you why. And you're seeing it right now. I'm trying to go for kills when the storm is moving. Why am I doing this? I'm just gonna get shot from the side like I did here and eventually die. Sometimes it's hard to wrap your head around exactly how big the game space you're in is, and right now, the circle is not very big. And because I took so many bullets coming in, I didn't make it to safety. I'm just gonna skip straight to end game in game 75, because that's the most important thing. Right now, I got 34 people left, myself included, for a pretty small circle. At this point in the game, just assume you have 34 guns trained on you at all times. Also, don't blow yourself up with your rocket, because someone's gonna hear and shoot you, and they want the points. I was able to rift away from that guy, but was of course attacked by another. I was so upset Set. I had rockets. I shouldn't have been in this spot to begin with. I think if anything, the end game of Fortnite is something you have to prepare for all game. In every game of Arena, you're gonna want something to move fast. So you definitely don't want to get out of your baller on a hill to shoot a guy. Yes, it rolls! So now I'm stuck without a baller on the fringe of the circle, and there's 34 people left and I gotta build fight this guy that's probably playing on stretched res and ugh. I should have never got out of that baller. I've kind of been on a string of bad games and game 77 added to it. Oh yeah, so did game 78. I even had rockets. If you have a lot of bad games like this in a row, just take a break. Please. So yeah, I took a break. This is a regular old solo game, just in pubs. Still use my arena strategy, which is essentially just romp around in the jungle with a baller. Notably easier coming from 260 solo arena points to regular old solo matches. After 80 arena games, I couldn't remember the last time someone rode up to me on a drift board and let me kill them like this. I attacked everyone I saw without question. Hiding in boxes all that time made me something inhuman. So yeah, sky base with six, well, make that seven kills. Went down to kill the last piece of public trash, and he actually was decent at the game. Almost killed me, but, you know, didn't. I'm still a certified bot, though. Don't get me wrong. Back to the grind, playing on stretch here. You know how it is. JK, stretch res is illegal. I played game 82, but wasn't recording, but don't want to cheat you out of anything, so I'll just play it again. This is actually one of the rare times where I noticed I didn't record as it happened. Wow, look at me. Look at this circle. Still super small. 26 people left. Soccer skins everywhere. I did what I had to do. Got top 25 with one kill. Went for the second kill, but didn't get it. As the circle was starting to close in game 83, I was in a pretty good spot. Baller with mats. Of course, nothing lasts forever, so now I'm here with no mats and one balloon. I had a chug jug, I just had to get to safety, but couldn't. I should have learned this by now. The high ground is king. Should have put a pyramid on top of my structure. I'll be quick with game 85, because it's a quick game to begin with. In game 86, I tried, you know? I what do you want? I tried. Probably should have taken another break, but I was determined with bot rage. Here I thought I found a new way to store the baller, but when I got in and out, it destroyed the baller. 
Oh, you can you can see the depression in just how I don't move. I got top 25, but now I'm looking for top 15. And no, you're not gonna get it jumping into random strangers' boxes. I thought this John Wick's three-story tower of Fortnite would be no match for my minigun. I was wrong. Seems like I just can't stay out of trouble. While I am getting better, I end up killing myself most of the time. Editing this video, I can see that most of my deaths in this series are preventable. And yeah, after 90 games of the arena, I was a little bit burnt out. Honestly, dropping tilted was easier. But hey, I got better. Wait better. And that was really the whole point of 100 drops to begin with, so success. Even if game 91 wasn't a success at all. Game 92, I dropped the pirate ship as John Wick, didn't get a gun, and died. Wasn't recording in game 93. Didn't come in top 25 either, but I got four kills, so I profited points. Game 94, I was met by a player with a really expensive phone. Obviously, he was way better at the game than me. Got the soccer skin on in game 95, and let me just spin around here so you can read that number on the back. Played pretty well for once, probably because I've been losing so many points. I really shouldn't be attacking this man. It never goes well. This time it actually did go well, but I probably should have just went to the safe circle. Seriously, I can't help myself. Even on nine health, I'm going for kills. Which of course, got me killed. Game 96 is just dumb. This bunny moon stuffed me with her clinger, so I got out and let the clinger explode on me. Then I got shotgun. In game 97, I don't know what compelled me to drop Pleasant Park but I did. Who cares? I mean, most of the match was spent in a baller anyway. I got two kills in Pleasant Park, but after that didn't kill anyone, even in the final circle. You know what? With a gold scar and a gold pump, this is where you're gonna get the most kills in an arena match, when everyone is running towards the storm and it's crazy. Once you got high ground more than often, you can get lucky with some easy kills like I am here. Most of the guys on the ground are gonna be worried about the other players on the ground, not you in the sky. And in game 97, with three people left in the high ground, I used my gold scar to spray down the competition and win the game. Like I said, Certified bot dropped back into the jungle for game 98. Never found a shotgun, then died. Game 99. Don't worry, I play well here. My baller was on a sliver of health from an incident that we won't talk about here for insurance reasons. Found a nice young player with a fresh baller though, so I borrowed it. I made it to top 15 with the baller, but I still had two rifts in my inventory, plus a rocket launcher. I mean, anything can happen with that thing. I used both rift to goes to make my way into the craziest of circles. I dropped in with my rocket to secure top five. Aren't you proud of me? Okay, well, it's been quite quite a hundred games. These have been very difficult. They've taught me a lot. And at the end, I have 274 points, even if I go home at the end of this game with nothing. And since my dad works at Epic, my first chest was a bow and a chug jug. I kept to my box and was able to get two kills. So at least I'd go home breaking even. No baller, but it's not that necessary. I make jokes about it in the video, but you know, you can get to the end without a baller. Did a little bit more fighting than I should have in an area I shouldn't have been fighting in. Why am I fighting in this valley? Game 100 is very similar to a lot of the other games in these 100 drops. I played very well, but I could have played much better. That's it, the drops are over, and I think I did okay in the end. This graph is a running total of my points in Arena Solo, and you can see it started pretty good, but then kinda hit a plateau. I found my level, I matched players of my own skill, and that's the point of Ranked Fortnite. So if you hit a plateau, just keep playing. That's how you get better. The arena's not going away. Ranked Fortnite is here to stay, and I'm happy about that. I'd also be happy if you used my supporter creator code, Luke-The Notable, in the Fortnite item shop. Do it, or I won't love you. And that's it for the video, Fortnite fans. If you want to see another one, well, you're gonna have to subscribe and wait for the next one, or watch all the other 100 drops that I've done. Thank you all for watching! I want you all to please stay notable, and I'll see you in the next video.